Hello everybody. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an embedded YouTube video dynamically resize for a responsive design so that it looks correct when it goes down to mobile width. I'm Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com and when last we left off, I was editing the base.html file which is the template file from which all the other files on my site are going to inherit. So anything I do here applies to all the rest of my site. And that is why I put the CSS files in here that constitute the skeleton CSS responsive framework that I'm using. And I'm going to put my own file for the customizations I'm about to add. And I'm going to do that by yank yank paste slash layout delete word insert custom.css and before I save I want that file to actually exist escape colon tab e custom.css now I just created a new file it's in the root actually of the website so I will have to adjust its path before I save and then I'll probably later put it into the same style sheet subdirectory as skeletons but for now we got it working so uh, the file exists I'm going to save it and then I'm going to GT for go to the next tab fix that path thing delete word 1x for delete now I can save that and everything is good. I've got another external CSS file being loaded. Now from my research, I found this solution here that makes a website hop around unexpectedly. It makes a website for the most part work like, now well, let's see. This is the page that has how you put the example code in. And then this is the page that shows you the desired behavior. So these are all embedded YouTube videos. Correct. That is our desired behavior. And this is our example code. So we're adding a new class, which is this which we copy, which we go over to Vim, which we do GT, and then we do colon set paste, because that has special indents that we want to preserve, I for insert mode, command V, escape colon W, it is now written. I now have the ability to use this video wrapper class in a div that goes around the YouTube content. I'm going to have to do that in index.html because my embedded YouTube is considered part of the page content and not the template. So one more tab e index.html. We've got our third file loaded but it is easy enough to do slash iframe shift O flower V escape shift G O and div escape colon W should be that easy let us find out if it was Okay, it looks like it's the full width of the column that I had defined. And now I shall resize it down. Thank you for joining me. I uh, hope to talk to you again soon. And don't forget to subscribe.